Okay, we're now going to create a recursive function to get the uh, road speed of the car um, at the moment. So, as we've all meant, all, all cars, they have a top speed when they were first came out, but as they get older, they lose speed. So, we're going to create a crude method that will say for every year the car has been on the road, um, it loses five miles per hour. So, I'm going to create I'm going to create a function and it's going to return um, a whole number. So I'm going to say public int um, and I'm going to call it get road speed. It's going to take in two things. It's going to take in the top speed at the moment. So int top speed in. It's also going to take in the number of years it's been on the road. So int. Um, years old in and what we're going to say is if it's been on the road no years that means it's keeping its top speed so we're going to say if years old in is equal to zero we can just return top speed in so if the polo was naught years old, it would uh, we would give it the arguments um, 110 and 0 in, the, in these parameters. It would be 0 years old, so we would say it's still going to do 110 miles an hour, and we return that. If the years old isn't equal to 1, what we're going to do is we're going to return get road speed. So we're going to call the fu call the function again. This time, passing it road speed in minus five and years old in minus one. Um, and this way, it will keep on. Uh, recursively running this method until it comes up with a final number. So in this case, because this is free, it will run through. Years old is equal to zero is false, so it will run this. It will take five off of the top speed, so it now equals 105. It will take one off the years, so that now equals two, and pass those to the method uh, to the function again. Runs again. Years old currently equals two at the moment, so false. Top speed. Currently equals 105, so we're going to do top speed minus 5, so it's now 100, minus 1 again, so it's now equal to 1. Go through the process again. This is still not true, because years old is equal to 1 at the moment, so we do it one more time. 5 off 100, which is what we passed to it, so we're now at 95, and years old is 1, we're going to minus 1, so it's now 0. So we pass those in one more time, comes down. Years old is now equal to zero, so we're now just going to return top speed, which was 95. So to test that theory, let's do system.out.print, and let's print the results of this. So I'm going to do polo dot um, get road speed, and I need to pass it the current speed. So polo dot get top speed and I need to pass it how old it is polo dot get years old and when I run it oh, let's just uh, print out a new line so that's nice um, and why is that not printing to a new line? Oh. So it's working. I'm just trying to make it prettier. So here we can see that it returns 95, um, which is exactly what we expected. What you can do with this now is it means that if we compared who has the greater top speed and the polo was, say, uh, uh, the golf was, say, um, a 25 year old golf. Let's compare them. So I'm going to do if 
polo road speed is greater than let's just that will write the method out again actually for golf so golf dot get road speed golf dot get engine size golf dot get uh, years old What's wrong here? Golf dot get road speed. Oh, it's not engine size, is it? Let's get top speed. There we go. Um, okay, so if the polo is faster now, we're going to print. Polo is faster. Else, golf is faster. So, not too sure who's going to win. Oh, what's wrong here? Oh, didn't end my else statement correctly. Here we go. So, Golf has a larger engine, but Polo is now faster because the, uh, the Golf is older. So they were both the same age. The Golf is faster. Fun. Cool. Have a go at creating, then, a recursive function. See if you could also maybe uh, recreate this function um, using a loop instead of recursion. So create the recursion version um, and then create another function but this time instead of it being recursive where it calls itself create it using a loop. See which one you prefer and write up your findings.